اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, I'm going to answer some of the common questions uh, that repeatedly are being asked in the comments, generally through WhatsApp and uh, through other social media platforms or uh, through email. Now, there are a few misconceptions with regards to the use of SCM. I may not be covering all of them here, but this is this could be a series of lectures, tutorials, short tutorials on some of the common misconceptions, some of the common questions that are being asked. So I might address a few here and you are most welcome to comment on this video and let me know what other questions you would like me to answer. Now the first one is, shall I put all my variables for analysis? Now some of the times what happens is you've got different type of variables. So let's say you've got independent, you've got mediating, you've got moderators and you've got dependent variables. You've got controls as well. Now, for example, I'm doing SCM analysis and I'm using AMOS. So if you are using AMOS, doing separate measurement model for each of your construct may help build more complex measurement model or the covariance based model whereby you assess your reliability and validity. However, reporting it separately does not serve the purpose. So initially you can check each of your construct separately when you are using covariance based SCM. And then you should have a complete measurement model with all your constructs covariate with each other. Now the same applies for smart PLS. When you are assessing your measurement model or your structural model, put all your variables in. Do not leave anything out because it is not an independent variable or it is not a mediator or it is not a moderator or maybe any other case. So when you are comparing results, with and without control variables, then you can have two separate models and report results based on the comparisons that this is the model without the control variables and this is the, the model with the control variables. Now, shall I perform mediation analysis separately? No. The essence of SCM is, is on its complexity. The ability of SCM based software to handle complex models. Now, if you are removing mediation, if you are removing, and the next question is linked to this as well. Now, if you are removing moderating variables, if you are removing the moderation analysis and just checking the IV and DV and then checking the IV and MVs and then making a separate model for MV and DV, then you should not use SCM based tools. Then you rather do first generation software like SPSS, Excel or any other. But if you are using SCM, the essence is, is on complexity. SCM handles complex models. So you should put all your mediator moderators in and then assess your model. This will give you more clear results about your study. Shall I add moderators in my measurement model? Yes. And I'm saying moderators, not moderating effect. So you should add moderators in your measurement model and assess their reliability and validity just as you do for all your other latent variables. Moderators are a part of your study. They should be added. Shall I include moderating effect in the measurement model? No. Because moderating effect is to assess the interrelationship. That is how a particular relationship is being moderated by the moderator. That's why you add moderating effect. So you're not assessing the reliability or quality criteria or validity, whatever you want to call it, of the moderating effect. You should check for the reliability, validity of the moderator rather than the moderating effect. So it is not part of your measurement model. Moderator with the endogenous variable. Now this is uh, something that I get a lot. That I am checking the moderating effect. Shall I assess or report the effect of moderator on my endogenous variable. Let's say I'm assessing the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. Now I've got a moderating effect, the moderator that is, let's say, role ambiguity with organizational performance because the relationship that is being assessed is collaborative culture and organizational performance. The answer is, if it is a proper antecedent and as part of your study objectives, you are interested in assessing the impact of that moderator on the dependent variable in that particular relationship that is being assessed, 
then yes you should shall i remove insignificant results no you should not remove the insignificant results insignificant doesn't mean that your study is altogether wrong well you if you've got a complex model then you are bound to get insignificant results because some of the variable may have an influence while others may not have an influence now you need to justify in your discussion as to why in your context in your study setting there is an impact or there is no impact i would like to quote here in one of my studies i found a negative impact of one variable on another whereby i was expecting a positive relationship now instead of removing that relationship or not reporting it me and my co-authors we we sat down and tried to find out what are the reasons behind these insignificant results what could be the possible reasons and we did find an explanation so you should not remove your insignificant results rather you should report them so this is all for these common questions if you've got any more please do write in your comments thank you very much